we opened up for Ginger Rogers. We thought we were on top of the world. Uh, Tony Bennett was there. I, I actually played for him. There was just so so many clubs, so so much music going on, so many great musicians around. Uh, of course, Hugh Fraser was in town, and Phil Dwyer was there, and then Fraser McPherson, Wyatt Ruther, um, you know, Oliver Gannon, uh, so many different great mentors to me. Uh, I was playing with uh, Perry White frequently, uh, Rudy Petschauer on drums, who was my boyfriend at the time, and the two of us decided to come to New York. I was fascinated and excited, thrilled by it all. And when I began to actually work, I knew then that it would be difficult to pull myself away from this area or to pull myself away from the opportunities that were presenting themselves to me. There's so much musical talent in your family, Irini. You and Bill Charlap, it's, it boggles my mind. <laughs> we have two pianos nestled uh, in the living room and we take turns practicing. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Of course, that's the great Oscar Peterson playing. He he really had his own way of touching the instrument and uh, his own sense sensibilities of, of harmony. Um, I mean, I consider him a, a genius. Did you get to meet Oscar Peterson? Oh, I did. In fact, I I played for him, which was terrifying. But then when I sat down at the piano to play. Really, the music just kind of took over.